Hi there! I am very excited to explore and learn English with all of you. I am Teacher G. Join me on this fun journey of learning English here in Lingo Bingo Thursdays of Teacher Vibal. Before we move on to our English class today, I would like to invite you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in writing and communication. Just look for the details in the description below. Let's dig into our lesson for today. Before we proceed, we will be answering these three questions. First, what is a speech? Second, what are the things we have to remember in delivering a speech? And third, how do we deliver a speech? Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Have you experienced presenting your arguments in a debate? conducting a report for a topic assigned by your teacher, or giving a birthday message to your parent? These are just some forms of speeches. A speech is a form of communication that is spoken before an audience for a given purpose. While it may be tempting to think of speeches as simple conversations with more people, the truth is they are actually quite different. You may be using the same language with largely the same intonation patterns, but in a speech, you are tailoring your delivery for a much larger audience. More precise control of your use of prosodic features is particularly helpful for special speeches. I will outline some of the prosodic features which are relevant in delivering a speech. First, is the intonation. The appropriate intonation patterns for statements, questions, and the likes still apply. But it is best to vary your intonation occasionally in order to keep the audience engaged. This will need to be slightly exaggerated compared to the intonation that you will use in an ordinary conversation. Next is the volume. Controlling the volume of your voice is important too. As with pitch and intonation, varying the volume of your voice by doing louder or softer will keep the audience interested. Just make sure that the variation is appropriate in the content of the speech. This comes in handy when there is an anecdote or aside as part of the speech where shifting from loud to soft and back is justified. We also have the pace. This is perhaps the most evident difference between a conversation and a speech. Since you are speaking to a much larger group of people, usually over a sound system, you need to moderate the delivery of your speech. Compared to one-on-one -on -one conversation, facial expressions and situational clues are also prone to be overlooked. This causes the listeners to experience some difficulties in keeping track of every word or statement they hear. Thus, Pacing the speech is essential as it gives ample amount of time for listeners to absorb or grasp the information while keeping it controlled enough, not to be dragging and boring. Occasional pauses are also welcome as they are at times in a regular speech. They are oftentimes present in between sentences or after a particularly heavy statement. The last one is the stress. As with one-on-one -on -one conversation, this goes hand-in-hand -hand with pace to highlight important parts of the speech. 
key statements may be said with slightly louder volume or raised pitch. This may also hold the benefit of varying the overall delivery of the speech. Aside from accuracy in pronunciation and diction, eye contact, gesture, and stance also greatly contribute to the overall effectiveness of the speech. Stiffness should be avoided as this may suggest lack of confidence or mastery. Nonetheless, speaking in a very relaxed manner may suggest laziness, especially when your hands are kept in the pocket or when you do unnecessary gestures. Gestures should be used to highlight a speaker's message. As a general rule, expansive movement indicate confidence and credibility. To keep your audience from getting bored during a long speech, you may also want to walk back and forth from time to time to make the delivery a bit livelier. To keep a good eye contact with your audience, you should distribute your glances and not focus on a single audience. Avoiding eye contact may make you seem evasive or may indicate that you are hiding something. Were you able to list all of that? I hope that you will be able to use those tips when you are tasked to deliver a speech in your class or when it is required in your chosen field of expertise. Remember, practice makes perfect. I had fun learning with you, but I have to say goodbye for now. I hope that you will join me again on our next adventure. And oh, don't forget to share this video and bring your friends with you next time. Okay? Once again, join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibal's Happy Homeschool program now. Just go to happyhomeschool.ph. Visit happyhomeschool.ph to register and check out Happy Homeschool packages. Check out Happy Homeschool standalone courses in English and in writing and communication. Just look for the details in the description. Still, this is Teacher G. Like this video and turn on the notification bell to hear more from me and other teachers at Teacher Viva soon. See you on our next Lingo Bingo Thursdays for more fun and exciting exploration of the English language.